welcome to Medicine for the Soul Yoga. My name is Kat and today we will be doing a mandala flow. It's a type of vinyasa yoga where we move around the mat in a circle. It's really fun, it's really fluid and we flow with the breath. So let's get started. So we're going to start today in tabletop spreading the fingers, engaging the hands and the fingertips on the mat. Maybe you can even see the whites of your fingertips as you grip into the ground. We're gonna push out of the hands and really feel this lift. Imagine like you want the center of the shoulders to be really lifting up. We're almost pushing against the mat with the tops of the feet. So we're really grounding ourselves down but feeling this kind of lift as well this lift and this lightness, breathing deeply through the nose. Arriving in our practice, taking a moment to feel what it feels like in our body today. We're gonna lift up the feet and tuck the toes and then just gently rock forward and back, just waking up the feet. Big, strong, deep breaths through the nose. Good. Next time we come forward, holding there and lifting up the feet, rolling the ankles and letting the feet sway side to side. Big, deep breaths through the nose. Good, placing those feet down. We'll move forward and roll up the spine. So we're stretching out the spine now. Exhale, rounding the back. Inhale, arching, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, arching. And then just bring in some fluid movement. So just relax, move the shoulders and the hips any way that feels good. This is your practice, so feeling into what makes your body feel nice and stretched right now. You might want to let the hands dip forward and melt the chest down. I really love this one. Or maybe working more into the hips, we can bring the knees apart. So there's really no right or wrong here. We're just having a moment of freestyling it. <laughs> you can push the hips back, you can bring the chest down. You can dip the shoulders side to side. Really warming up the whole body. And maybe imagine that we're kind of rolling in a circle. Getting ready for our mandala flow. Good. And then we'll all just meet back in our tabletop. Just reposition yourself so the hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. We're just going to make little circles over the wrist joints on the hands. So really engaging the fingers. Just little circles if you've got slightly weaker wrists here. You don't want to be damaging that. And then we can just change direction. Keep breathing deeply through the nose. Good. I'm gonna tuck the toes and we're gonna find ourselves in downward dog. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Walk out your downward dog. Let the heels lift up and down. Big deep breaths through the nose. Letting the heels lift up and down as we push the chest towards the thighs. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Just finding stillness in our downward dog for a moment. We're gonna lift up the right hand, place that right hand somewhere along this left leg, maybe behind the left knee, or maybe you can work a bit further down towards maybe even the ankle, really twisting yourself around. So imagine you wanna pivot and look right underneath that left elbow. Big deep breaths here, wherever you are. Gently come back to center in our downward dog. We're gonna take a little vinyasa here. Inhale, roll forward to plank, hold. Exhale, drop the knees, drop the chest and chin, keep the elbows in. 
Inhale into our back bend. Exhale back to downward dog. Good. Walk out the feet. Big deep breath through the nose. Finding stillness in the center. Lifting up the left hand. Maybe just keeping it here is enough. Just hovering off the mat. Spreading the fingers of that right hand. Maybe we can place the left hand behind that right knee. Maybe we can work down the leg and really twist, look up underneath that right armpit. Keep breathing deeply. In and out through the nose. Good, and then gently we'll come back to our downward dog. Good, we're gonna walk the feet forward to the hands. So we're gonna look forward and walk the feet. You can keep the legs bent and at some point you wanna come onto your fingertips to give you space to bring yourself all the way forward. Inhale, flat back, fingertips on the mat or on the shins. We draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bending slightly into the legs. We come into quite a gentle forward fold and we're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. We can hold onto each elbow with the opposite hand and just feel the arms releasing. Keep the weight forward in the feet. Big deep breaths through the nose. Good, and just releasing the hands back to the mat. We're gonna inhale, but we're gonna come into chair pose. We're gonna keep the hips low, bending the legs, squeezing in the core as we lift up the chest. Imagine like we're sitting back in a chair. Tuck the pelvis in, so we don't want the bum sticking out. We wanna tuck the pelvis in, check that we can see the toes over the knees. Sink the hips down, draw the hands back, feel the shoulders roll down the back. Keep breathing deeply here. You could be able to lift up the toes. The weight is right back in the heels. We're going to lift up the right leg and bend the right foot. So we're in one leg chair. We're gonna come into our first little mandala flow. So with control, we're gonna bring that right foot back and find warrior two. So that's where this back leg is uh, in line with the short edge of the mat. Maybe walking the feet out a bit wider, really allow yourself to sink the hips. Bring the arms out wide, big deep breaths here. Sink the hips a bit lower. Good, and then we're gonna bring the hands down onto the mat. We're going to slide this left foot a bit further out and we're gonna sink into a side lunge. We can allow this left heel to lift, especially as it's early in our practice, and keep the hands on the mat to support us. As we inhale, we're gonna bring us to center and come to the other side. Maybe the heel can stay on the mat, maybe it lifts. It's absolutely fine either way. We're gonna twist around to look over this right leg and come into a low lunge. Drop the left knee down. Big inhale, sweep the arms up. Big deep breath through the nose, sink the hips. Bring the palms into center. We're gonna come into a twist, left elbow onto right knee, pivoting, it, pivoting around, looking up and behind you. Big deep breath. Good, inhale, look forward first and then move the hands. Coming into our low lunge, and then exhale, draw the hands down. Good, we're gonna step that right foot back to plank. And we're gonna take our vinyasa, drop the knees if you need to, you can keep them lifted if not. Inhale into our back bend, exhale. We find ourselves in downward dog. We're gonna look forward to the hands and we're gonna step or hop forward. If we're hopping, we keep the weight forward in the hands. We keep the chest lifted. We land super lightly with the feet. Flat back as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sink the hips. We're gonna lift the hands into chair. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the core. Big deep breaths through the nose. Good, again, lifting up that right foot. We come into one leg chair pose. Bring that foot back, straighten the left leg slightly. And we come into warrior two, sink the hips. Relax the shoulders. Bring the hands down. We're gonna come into a wide leg 
side squat. Let that heel lift if it needs to. Hands are supporting us. We're going to come via the center and then come into a lunge on the other side. Try and roll the shoulders away from the ears and keep the chest lifted. Good. We're going to spin to the right. Come into a low lunge with the right leg in front. Drop the left knee. Big inhale. Reach the arms up. And then exhale, draw the palms to center and we twist to the right. Left elbow on right knee, looking up behind us. Draw the shoulders down, sink the hips. Big deep breath. Inhale, look forward, bringing up the arms. Big inhale, sink the hips. Good, exhale, hands down. Step the right foot back to plank. Take your vinyasa or just meet us in downward dog. Up to you here. Draw the shoulders away from the ears in our back bend. And we meet back in downward dog. Big deep breaths here. Pedaling out the feet. Inhale, look forward, step or hop towards the hands. Flat back at the top of the mat. Big inhale, and then exhale, forward fold. Just hanging here for a moment. Taking a moment to get your breath. Weight forward in the feet. Big, strong inhales and exhales through the nose. And we're just going to do the other side. So we're going to go around in a circle the other way. We're going to sink the hips, big inhale, reach the arms up, draw the shoulders away from the ears, squeeze in the core, sink those hips. Can you wiggle the toes? Good. Lifting that left leg, keep everything else the same, squeezing the core. Gently we straighten the right leg and we step that left leg back into our warrior two, relax the shoulders, sink the hips, look down the middle finger. Good, we're gonna bring the hands to the inside of the legs and find our low lunge. Perhaps a bit more open now. Perhaps the right heel can be a bit down. Perhaps the chest can be more lifted. Maybe you can even bring the palms to center in front of the chest. We're gonna travel over to the left side, just being super mindful of your body. So this side is tighter for me, so I might have to have that heel lifted slightly and that's fine using the hands as needed or bringing them to prayer and lifting the chest. Good, as we exhale, we're gonna to twist to the left. Find our low lunge, drop that right knee down. Big inhale, sweep the hands up. Big deep breath. Exhale, draw the palms down. Good, right elbow onto left knee, we twist. Look over that left shoulder. Big, strong, deep breath through the nose. Good, look forward. Reach the hands up, big inhale, and then exhale, planting the hands, step that left foot back, we find plank, we take our vinyasa, or we meet in downward dog. Flowing with the breath, exhale back, good. Inhale, look forward, stepping or hopping, the feet forward to the hands. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna reach the hands up, sink the hips, find chair. Relax the shoulders. Sink those hips down and back. So now we're going to keep the weight in the right leg, lift up the left toes. Keep everything the same. Gently bending. Sorry, gently straightening that right leg, stepping back to warrior two. Sink the hips, look down the middle finger. Big deep breaths. Good, drawing the hands down, we'll find our side lunge. Keeping the hands as they are, or maybe we can draw them up, relax the shoulders. This requires quite open hips, so don't worry at all if this seems a bit inaccessible. We can modify it, have the hands, have the heel lifted, however you need. 
We're going to make our way over to the other side. It's amazing how much more open you can get just through a little bit of flowing. And then we're going to spin to the left, come into a low lunge, drop that right knee, big inhale, reaching the arms up. Good, exhale, draw the palms to center. Right elbow onto left knee, twist, look up. Sink the hips. Good, and then gently looking forward. Big inhale, reaching those hands up. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Really good. We're going to step the left foot back. Find our plank. Big inhale. Either just traveling to downward dog or taking your vinyasa. Drop the knees if you need to. Good. And we're all going to drop the knees now and just find child's pose for a moment. Bring the knees out wide, toes together. Sink the hips back and melt the chest forward. Big deep breath. Feel the belly rise and fall with every breath. Cultivating a deep belly breath here, in and out through the nose. This moment of yin, of passive. This passive energy compared to the yang, the active energy. And balancing these out in our practice. Finding that union. And we'll gently lift up the chest and we'll just walk the hands back so we lift up the chest and come back to sitting on, sitting on our shins big shoulder roll here and we can draw the chest down just releasing anything that needs releasing maybe in the neck as well So we worked a lot into the inside of the hips today. So we're just going to do some nice deep hip releases to finish off. So we're going to dive the hands forward, tucking up into our downward dog. Walking out the feet. Inhale, look forward to the hands, bending into the legs and hopping or stepping forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, finding chair, sink the hips. Big inhale. Exhale, we're going to draw the palms to centre. We're going to find that twist that we did before, but this time in our chair. Right elbow on the left knee. Sorry, left elbow on the right knee, looking up. Check that the left knee hasn't shot forward. Keep them in line. Similar to how we were doing before, but now with a twist, we're going to lift up the left foot and then step it back. Good. Try and keep that twist if you can. Deepen it when you arrive in your high lunge. Look forward as we inhale. Ooh, coming into our high lunge. Good. Sinking the hips. Bringing the hands down to the inside of that right leg. We're going to heel toe the right foot out to the side and we're going to find our lizard pose. If this is too much on your hips, you can bring yourself up and rest on your knees and you can also drop that left knee down so we can be a bit more lifted here. But if we can, keep that left knee lifted and the fingertips are on the mat. Big deep breath through the nose. Maybe we can release onto the hands. Maybe we can begin to bend the arms and come onto the forearms into our full lizard. At any point you need to drop that left knee down, then do that. We really feel that into the hips here. Big deep breath through the nose. Pulsing gently forward and back can help you release a bit deeper. Relax the shoulders and relax the face. Good, and we're all going to drop that left knee down if it isn't already. 
and we're all going to come onto our hands. We're going to place the left hand in the center and bring the right hand to the outside, to the inside of the right knee. And we're just going to twist looking behind us, allowing the hips to sink a bit deeper and almost pushing that right knee out so we can come onto the blade, the right blade of this right foot as we really roll that right shoulder around and we allow the hips to sink deeper. Big deep breaths here. Either staying here, where, whatever that looks like for you. If you'd like to deepen the stretch, we can maybe lift up the left foot, maybe even find the left foot with the hand. This is something to work towards. If you sometimes use a strap or dressing gown tie or whatever in your practice, this is a good time to perhaps hoop it over the foot and you can kind of work towards getting that closer. Breathing into it wherever you are. And then we'll look forward, bring that right hand back to center. Tuck the toes of this left foot, lift up the left knee, bring the weight more into the hands. Good, lifting up the hips and then step that right foot back. We're in plank, big inhale, either taking a vinyasa or just meeting us in downward dog. Drop the knees if you need to. We find our downward dog. We pedal out the feet. Big deep breaths in and out through the nose. Inhale, looking forward to the hands, stepping or hopping forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Sinking the hips, inhale, reaching the hands, coming into chair pose. Sink those hips down. Relax the shoulders. Curl in the tailbone. Breathing deeply through the nose. Bringing the palms down to center. We'll twist to the left, right elbow onto left knee. Use that as a pivot to kind of pivot yourself around. Keeping both knees in line, look up at the ceiling. We're aiming to push the palms into the center of the chest and bring the center of the chest into the palms. So we're twisting our torso. Good. We can slightly look down. I think it helps with the balance. Bring that right foot up and step back into our twisted high lunge. This is hard, so if you wobble, don't worry. Muscle memory will help you here the more times you practice it. Good, and then we're gonna look forward. Big inhale, coming up into our high lunge, sink the hips. Big, strong, deep breath through the nose, inching that left foot forward if you need a bit more space. And then we're gonna draw the hands to the inside of the left foot. Heel toe that left foot out to the side and really allow the hips to sink. So we need a lot of space here. Walk that left foot forward as much as you can to really allow the hips to sink down. As I said, if this is too much, do drop that right knee down and you can also always come up to the knee. But we'll start on the fingertips if we can and if we can as well, with that right knee lifted, although it, it does get pretty tiring. <laughs> Bringing onto our hands if you can, maybe bending the elbows and allowing the chest to melt a bit deeper down, maybe even coming onto the forearms. Just keep breathing wherever you are. Every exhale, releasing those hips a bit more. Big, strong, deep breaths through the nose. Just focus on the breath. One more big inhale. Good, exhale, we'll drop that knee if it's lifted. Place the foot on the mat and we'll all come onto our hands. Bring the right hand into the center and we're just gonna gently twist to the left. So it might only be a little twist, that's fine. But you can get quite into it if your knee's happy as well. Maybe coming onto the blade of that left foot and really looking behind you. Letting that knee fall out to the side allows us to sink the hips a bit lower. Either staying here is absolutely fine. If you want to challenge yourself, trying to lift up that back foot, kind of rolling ourselves forward to the top of the knee joint so we're not directly on the kneecap. 
maybe even reaching that left hand back, maybe you can find the foot and we gently draw the foot closer to the body. Keep breathing deeply wherever you are. Sinking those hips lower. Good, and then gently. We'll come back to center. We'll tuck the toes of that right leg. Lift up the knees. Lift up the hips. Slide that leg back. Oh, good. We're in plank. We take our last vinyasa. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And then exhale back to downward dog. Really good. Walk out the legs. Big, deep breaths in and out through the nose. As we inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up. Bring the leg through, placing the shin on the mat, finding pigeon. So we want the right knee behind the right wrist. We slide the left foot back, allowing our hips to sink. This right ankle is kind of just in front of the left hip. So it's easier if the foot's slightly closer to the body and it's harder when that shin is more parallel to the short edge of the mat. So just finding what works for you. The hands can be supporting us, especially if the hip's still lifted here. If we can, kind of inching that left knee back to allow the hips to sink all the way down. Either staying here, especially if the hips are a bit lifted, work with this. If you feel comfortable, then maybe we can come onto the forearms, maybe all the way down. Wherever you are, again, every exhale, we release a bit deeper, surrendering into this lovely hip stretch. Relaxing all the muscles in the face and the hips. Feel yourself just melting into the mat. Big, lovely, slow breaths in and out through the nose. Last few breaths. We're going to bring the hands either side of the body and gently, gently peel ourselves up. Good. Bring our weight more into that right hip as we swing this left foot around. Straightening out the left foot and hugging that right knee in. Good. So with this right foot by the inside of the left leg, we're going to bring the left arm out and twist around to the right. Hug this right knee in, twisting over, looking over that right shoulder. Big deep breaths here. In and out through the nose. Hugging that knee in. So we're going to release this right leg. Let the knee drop down. We're going to keep this right hand where it is. And we're going to spin the left hand all the way around. Keep this, this left foot where it is. And we're going to lift up to three-legged downward dog with the right leg lifted. Exhale, we're going to bring that foot down, take our vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, really good. Inhale, we're going to lift the left leg up. And then exhale, find our pigeon on the left side. Gently placing that shin down. Really taking your time to arrive in this pose. Supporting yourself with your hands if you need. And really trying to inch that right leg back. Find length to allow your hips to sink. We roll the shoulders down and behind the back. Either staying here or we can maybe begin to draw the chest down. Again, staying on the fingertips, maybe on the forearms, or maybe all the way down with the forehead on the mat. Big, lovely, slow breaths in and out through the nose. Relaxing any tension in the hips and in the legs.
Feel the tension melting away with every breath. And then very gently bringing the hands either side of the shoulders. Inhale, we'll peel ourselves up. And we'll just bring our more of our weight onto that left hip and let the right leg swing all the way forward. Lengthen out the right leg. Just rearranging as needed. A little bit of shuffling around in mandala yoga. Bring the left foot to the inside of that right leg. Hug that left knee in. Bring the right arm out long. Wrap the right arm around the left knee and we twist around to the left. Really relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. And then gently looking forward. Really good. We're going to draw the right knee in as well and have both hands over the knees. As we exhale, lean back into the legs, drawing the chin into the chest. And as we inhale, arching the back. Let the knees open slightly to give us a bit of space. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, arching. Good, exhale, rounding. Inhale, arching, sitting up, and we'll just cross the legs. And we're just going to come into a gentle forward fold over the legs that are crossed. I really love this stretch. It's just such a nice release. Let the head and the neck go and let the upper body and the whole body just be really relaxed. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. And then we'll gently bring ourselves up to seated. And we're just going to lean back on the hands, bring the legs out, maybe shifting the hips forward a little bit to give us some room behind us. Bring the forearms down onto the mat, shining the chest forward. Feel the shoulders really roll behind the back, pausing for a moment. And then exhale, let the elbows come out to the sides as we very gently roll all the way down. Just resting the hands on the belly. Relax the shoulder blades. Feel the belly leading the breath. Feel the hands rise and fall with every breath. And just walking the feet slightly closer to the body. Bringing the hands either side of the body, palms facing down. As we inhale, we're going to peel the lower back off the mat. Lifting up the hips and coming into bridge pose. Keep the knees squeezing together. We don't want them coming out to the side. Squeeze the glutes at the top and imagine the chest is being pushed towards the chin. Maybe we can interlace the hands behind, underneath the body. Maybe even rolling ourselves kind of onto our arms to get a bit more height. Really lifting those hips and squeezing the glutes. One more big inhale. And as we exhale, we just melt ourselves down. Rolling vertebrae by vertebrae, keeping the pelvis tucked under until it places itself all the way onto the mat. And you feel the lower back kind of folding down. Hmm. Let both knees fall to the left. And look over the right shoulder, palm facing up. Big inhale here. Big exhale, release the body, let it all go. Feel the face melting further around to the right as well. Using the core, bringing yourself up to center. Big inhale and very gently rolling over to the right. Bringing the palm facing up of the left hand. Big inhale. Big exhale. And 
gently we'll bring ourselves up to center. And we'll just lengthen one leg out long and then the other, finding Shavasana. Drawing the hands either side of the body, palms facing up. We feel the shoulder blades really connecting with the ground here. We feel the back of the head supporting the head. The neck is long. All the muscles in the face are completely relaxed in between the eyebrows and the mouth. All the muscles in the shoulders running down into the hands. Feel this wave of relaxation traveling down the body. Just feeling the gentle rise and fall of your tummy with every breath. Just surrendering to this present moment, allowing yourself to just be in this moment. Beginning to deepen the breath, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Big inhale, we can reach the hands over the head and give ourselves a full body stretch. Mm. On an exhale, very gently rolling onto one side and just rest the head in the hands. Just enjoying this lovely post yoga feeling this benefit that we get from this moving medicine, this moving meditation. Gently using the hands, slowly, slowly sitting back up onto our cross legs. Drawing the hands onto the lap, drawing the chin down. Big inhale, we can reach the hands above the head Opening the eyes, and then exhale, draw the palms down to center. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you soon.